the base. So now I need to draw the top part. So the top part I need to draw is this section. I need to draw this section. So how do I do that? I click on the plus, the plus sign here. Look at this plane. So we are using the XZ plane. I left click on it. On visibility, then from there, start a sketch. So I'm going to be drawing this top section. The base is 42. The base is 42. Then it goes up by 10. The base is 42. So from here, click on the two point center circle, come to the middle of the circle. 42 tab 20. Since it is 10, so double of it will be 20. I'm going to be cutting out the down part. So I join this part together. So then when I'm done with this, I go up by, since I've gone up by 10, the length from here to here is 88, and the total length from here, from the base to the middle of this is 32. From here to this top is 32 times 2, which is 64. So I need to draw a diameter of for me to year 64, I've drawn 10 already, that'll be 52. That is 52 to this center. And looking at this circle, this circle is radius 42. That'll be 42, half of 42 is 21. 21 minus 52, that would be so 52 minus 21, sorry. So that would be 31. So now, the length from here, from here to here is 31. So, Using the line, I go from here to here, 31. So I've gone 31. I can go from here to here up 10. So now distance from here to here is 19. I can go here by 19 and come down this point so I click on trim I trim this portion out so looking at this now I already have this section so I can go up by 21 then draw my circle so going up by 21 from this point Going up by 21, I click on my circle, which is radius, which is diameter 42. So from here, 42. The other circle is diameter 60. So from here, diameter 60. So the diameter 60 is from this side. At it radius 30, so that's diameter 60. Now I use my start trimming, trim this portion out. I trim this portion out. So I can join from this center point going up. So that is how I need to trim.
I use the trim to that was a mistake. I use the 